today we are going to discuss how to locate a root using iteration method okay so the working procedure is first consider the given equation f of x is equal to 0 next one the given equation you have to write it in the form of x is equal to some new function phi of x next what you have to do is that this new function phi of x should satisfy the two conditions the first one is if x lies between a and b then phi of x also lies between a and b and the second condition is modulus of phi dash of x always should be less than 1 for all x belongs to the interval a comma b ok the formula for this iteration method is x1 is equal to phi of x0 not, not f of x0 phi of x0 where x0 is the initial approximation ok next one similarly x2 is equal to phi of x1 so on so forth next when to stop this procedure is difference between two consecutive iterations are very small then we will stop the procedure so first problem is x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 by iteration method ok first you have to find out the initial approximation root is what for that one f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 5 now you substitute 0 in place of x therefore you are getting minus 5 their negative value next to go for the 1 you are going to get minus 6 it is also a negative value next to 2 if you substitute 2 you are going to get a, again a negative value ok next you substitute 3 you are going to get a positive value 16 always the root lies between two consecutive opposite signs so here it is a negative value here it is a positive value always the root lies between two consecutive opposite sign therefore you have to say the root lies between 2 and 3 not minus 1 and 16 the root lies between 2 and 3 ok root lies between 2 and 3 and uh, consider the x0 as 2 next to what you have to do is you have to design a new function phi of x for that one x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 x cube is equal to 2x plus 5 ok x is equal to 2x plus 5 whole power 1 by 3 now you consider this x as this uh, 2x plus 5 whole power 1 by 3 as phi of x new function ok next you consider the phi dash of x is 1 by 3 into 2x plus 5 whole power minus 2 by 3 into 2 ok if you consider modulus of phi dash of x is less than 1 for all x belongs to 2 and 3 this 2 and 3 is from here you are going to get modulus of phi dash of x is less than 1 for all x belongs to 2 comma 3 so here x cube is equal to 2x plus 5 we have written like this so suppose if you consider 2x is equal to x cube minus 5 then x is equal to so on so forth you don't get the this condition will never satisfy always think that you have to write it in any model the given equation but it should satisfy this condition modulus of i dash of x less than 1 ok for all x belongs to 2 comma 3 now you can apply the iteration method so phi of x is equal to 2x plus 5 whole power 1 by 3 x1 is equal to phi of x0 that is the formula therefore x0 is 2 therefore phi of 2 therefore 2 into 2 plus 5 whole power 1 by 3 that is equal to 2.080 so x1 is equal to 0 2.080 x2 is equal to phi of x1 that is equal to phi of x1 value is 2.080 just to substitute and do that one 2.0923 you are going to get therefore x2 value is 2.0923 similarly x3 if you do that one 2.0942 you are going to get Similarly, x4 is 2.09449, x5 is 2.0954, x6 is 2.0945, x7 2.0945. Therefore, x6, x7 are approximately near the same. Therefore, the root of the equation is 
टू पॉइंट जीरो नाइन फोर डबल फाइव ओके दिस इज द वे टू फाइंड आउट द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन यूजिंग इटरेशन मेथड इट इन इटरेशन मेथड ऑलवेज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द फार्मूला एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू फाइव ऑफ एक्स नाट एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव ऑफ एक्स वन एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ and you have to remember the function phi of x you have to design a function such that this phi modulus of phi dash of x always should be less than 1 okay thank you